I've called them over walls that Trump has built off of hens, off posted property. I actually killed a turkey that come across Camp David. Can't stop the flock. Favorite tactic to hunt turkeys? Well, as you can see from my physique, I'm not much of a, a creeper or a crawler. I'm an aggressive turkey hunter. I'm a sit and wait type of guy. I will use a fan, I will use a decoy, I will crawl, I will climb a tree, I will dig a tunnel, I will run and gun. Find them, roost them, try to call them in. Absolutely love to use decoys. If he's gobbling and getting sexually frustrated, I like to bring the heat to him and use my little tools like a decoy or a fan, a good sounding turkey call to manipulate his frustration and get aggressive and make him do something that in the end, he makes the mistake and gives me an opportunity to shoot him. I'm not a reaper or a creeper. I don't crawl too well. <laughs> no doubt, the craziest, weirdest things ever happened to me turkey hunting was getting really aggressive, moving in on a hand up gobbler with a decoy to hopefully really, really put a good gnawing on this turkey's head. Well, everything worked. The turkey broke. He runs wide open to one step. He sees me. Three shots later, I ain't knocked a feather out of this turkey, and he flies off. That was embarrassing because when you rewind the footage, I missed this turkey three times before he got 10 yards. That sucks. One that comes to mind is uh, the property that I was hunting across the road in a lady's front yard. There was three long beards and uh, called them in, and actually the, the one that I actually shot happened to have three beards, so it's probably the craziest thing. It is awesome. You, you got it. He run, run right in. He runs up near that box. <laughs> runs off and I boom, boom, boom. I ain't even knocked a feather off of him. Right. I don't even think I scared him with the shot. I scared him because he knew something wasn't right, you know. What's your go-to shotgun shell for killing turkeys? That's easy. That Hornady number six in the three-inch version. Hornady six shot, three-inch high brass. I only can take one thing, turkey hunt with me. If I only had one thing to take the wood and I had all that other stuff and something to knock the turkey down and kill him, It'd definitely be just a combo cut, night and hell mouth call. That's it. Easy. Well, most people would say a turkey call, but for me, I'd say a bad boy buggy. <laughs> Cover a whole lot more acreage with a bad boy buggy. Yes, I, I am superstitious. Thank the goodness it's not socks or underwear because that, would, that wouldn't be good. But I have a gun I call Grady. This gun has been with me on over 100 turkey kills. It's just kind of like a part of me. It's like, you know, I got my arm and my hand, and then I got Grady. So I'm very sentimental when I'm hunting without Grady. I've shot a lot of turkeys without Grady, but when hunts don't go my way, I'm thinking, man, I wish I'd had Grady with me. I bet I'd have killed that turkey. Not necessarily superstitions, but I am kind of quirky or particular about my gear and stuff, having certain things, and, you know, I get a little anxious if I don't have a certain call with me, a box call or, a um, you know, a one of my favorite calls if I don't have it with me or something other. I do freak a little bit about that, so. By far, I'm more afraid of spiders. Snake don't bother me. I will not wear snake boots in the turkey woods. I don't like it. It slows me down. I don't like all that clunky stuff on my stuff, but I'm more looking for a spider raking back the leaves than I am a snake. They're just small, sneaky jokers, and they bite, and they hurt, and I've been bit by some poisonous spiders, and, and it sucks. At least a rattlesnake rattles. And you know, you can then kill them with a stick or shoot them with a shotgun if turkeys ain't gobbling, so spiders. Probably about the same. Not super scared of either one of them, but if they're in close proximity or about to bite me, I'm kind of a little antsy about either one of them. I know you're completely serious. I was dead thing. serious. <laughs> dead serious. You know, I want to feel like I can jug around, son. You might need to get on out there. I don't, the spider, spider sneak up on you. If I could hunt turkeys with anybody dead or alive, alive? Dale Rom, Harold Knight, and Paul Butsky. Those, those have always been my favorite turkey hunters. If I could hunt turkeys with anybody that's not living, it would definitely be old Ben Rogers Lee, man. I think he was very innovative, and I think he was a cool salesman and, and pretty adventurous and, uh, and full of crap, which is actually fun. And I mean that in a very positive way, coming from a Southern guy, and Ben Lee was from Alabama. So I'd love to hunt turkeys with Ben Lee. Michael Waddell, besides being my best friend and a great turkey hunter, I've yet to kill a turkey with Michael Waddell. So, Michael Waddell, a.k.a. Waddy.
Can I call a gobbler that already ha has hens? I can sure try. I'm not the best caller in the world, but I sure can sure try. It's almost impossible. You have a lot better luck really showering down on a Merriam turkey that's maybe hinned up than you do an Eastern turkey by rule, but it is very difficult. But definitely, you should try. The percentages are just not in your favor. Oh, can I call a hen turkey away from a gobbler? Absolutely. I've called them over walls that Trump has built off of hens, off posted property. I actually killed a turkey that come across Camp David when Obama was a president. When you hear can't stop the flop, the first thing you think of is a turkey flopping on the ground. And you think, well, eventually it's going to stop flopping. Well, yeah, it's going to stop flopping because you just gave him a face full of lead. But can't stop the flop, in my opinion, means you can't stop this great nation of outdoorsmen and hunters from turkey hunting. It's more than just a flopping turkey. You can't stop hunting. You can't stop turkey hunting. You can't stop people making turkeys flop. Can't stop the flop. Bam. We're going to keep conserving. We're going to keep having land that's better and better. And we're going to keep promoting our hunting heritage and making sure that we can hunt. So can't stop the flop means you ain't going to stop us hunters. Will the flop ever be stopped? A lot of people are going to try to stop the flop, but the flop will never be stopped. It's a lot like a good daily bowel movement. It can't be stopped. In my personal opinion, unless the good Lord brings his mighty hand and says either they will be no, or they shall be no more turkey hunting, or he comes down and readjusts their spine and the nervous system of the wild turkey to where when you shoot them in the appropriate place, which is the neck and head, that that nervous system don't tell them to stop flopping. That's the only thing. So, it will only come from the hands of God that the flop is stopped.